lovelies and welcome to not too late natural hair i'm lisa and in today's video i'm gonna test out shimmering lights shampoo and conditioner for blonde and silver hair as you can tell it's still in the packet oops not sponsored all things i paid out of pocket that is a struggle the biggest struggle and when you're testing out stuff for your hair is the cost so i hope this works um it's a purple shampoo let's see if i can squeeze a little bit see i've squeezed a little bit in there so purple shampoo is good to get the brass out of my hair not sure if it's the lighting or it's evening time but i look a little bit yellowish but you can tell right here not sure if you can see, but it's very brassy. Um, brassy meaning that it's looking a little bit goldish. And that's not what you're supposed to be when you're blonde or platinum blonde. So I'm going to go ahead and shampoo first with the Shimmery Light Shampoo for Blonde and Silver. And this is how it looks, guys. And next up will be the Shimmery Light Conditioner. Um for blonde and silver and it is the revitalizant and basically the directions after shampooing were conditioner through hair wait one minute and rinse for extra conditioning and color leave on two to five minutes and then rinse that's for the conditioner and for the shampoo wet hair lather rinse and repeat for extra brightening and color Leave second lather on for three to five minutes. No patch test required. Now I have my favorite over there, which is my favorite purple shampoo. This is my first time trying shimmering lights. So I'll let you know what I feel about it at the end. Won't you join me? So let's get started while I lather up and wash my hair. <laughs> Okay, so first impression, it smells really good. It smells almost like my other purple shampoo. It lathers very well. So far my hair still feels okay. It doesn't feel dry or thick or anything. I think it's been a couple of minutes and now I'm going to rinse out. Okay, so it still looks a little bit, I don't know what you guys think. Can you see it? I'm basing it off of right here. See the little bit of brass? Well, round two. I'm gonna leave on for like three to five minutes. Oh. It really smells good though, though, but it's not a matter of smelling good. It's, does it work? And my hair feels soft. Don't have a lot of stuff falling off, like my hair, God forbid. Even though it's a purple shampoo, your hair is not going to turn purple, people. Um, just in case you didn't know, it's just to help with the yellow and blonde and gray because you're already at the highest wheel. I am not a professional hairdresser. These are things I'm hearing from other hairdressers along the way, people talking, and don't be afraid to ask people 
Hey, your hair looks good, what do you use? Hey, your hair looks good, what do you use? I do that. And especially with all my natural beauties out there, I have been asking more and more and more people, what are you using your hair? I'm just curious. And guess what the number one answer is that a lot of people that I come in encounter with say? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, so it still has a little bit of yellow in it and I just figured out why. When I had my roots done, remember how my hair was when I first got the blonde this time around? It was like this golden reddish orange yellow. That's what's happening, folks. It's that, that's the new growth. And remember, I had to go back to get my platinum, so I'm thinking when my new, more of my new growth comes in, this will now be platinum, the new growth that he just did. Okay. In any event, it still got some of the brassiness out of it because eventually your hair does turn brassy when you have blonde or any highlightened color. So the aroma is very well. It smells so good. It smells so good and clean and refreshing. So this is the conditioner. It feels okay. It doesn't feel like, you know, some of those natural conditioners where it's just super, super, super soft, make your hair feel super soft. It feels okay. It feels dry in some areas. And that's why I'm just distributing the product throughout. Does my hair look blue? Um, so this one is for a minute and it, it's tempting me to put more <laughs> because I feel like it's dry. And I'm actually going to comb it out. As you can tell, it combs through very easily. Makes it looks like, look like I have purple hair. Purple red, purple red. Woo. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna rinse this out right now. It feels squeaky clean, but I'm also thinking it feels a little fragile. Maybe because it's too squeaky? I don't know. I can hear the squeak <laughs> as I'm coming through. So, I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time around. I'm not gonna add the gel. What do you guys think? Okay. Okay, so the products I'm going to use right now is it's a 10 leave-in product. Shea Moisture leave-in. Conditioner, it's Strength and Restore Leave-in Conditioner. And I'm gonna try this this time around, which is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancer Smoothie. I don't think I have used it that much, used it at all rather. I don't recall using it since turning blonde. And like I said, thank you guys for staying with me and watching my journey. Uh -oh. Even though some of you may not be blonde. But here's the thing, guys. I was watching Mono's hair. That's one of my favorite YouTubers for hair. Um, for years, and I wasn't even natural. I just love her hair. It's so thick and long and healthy looking and other YouTubers as well, a long time ago, and voila, here I am, natural. Who would have, who would have ever thought? Um, a little bit of the leave-in. So it looks like my curl pattern is still there. Nothing has changed as far as what I can see. I'm happy my hair is growing, um, but now I'm just like deciding like what I want to 
chew with it. I mean, it's cut into a style, but we want to continue it. I don't know. I get bored after a couple of years with something. It also depends where my hair is at the moment. But a little bit of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So my overall take on the Shimmering Lights is that it has a nice, nice smell to it. It has a hint, I think, of a little bit of almost like a baby powder kind of hint. Um, but it's a different, you tell me, comment below and let me know if you use shimmering lights, what do you think it smells like? This Shea Moisture um, Curl Enhancing Smoothie smells so wonderful on my hair right now. <laughs> Some of these things smell so good, like food related. Um, either that or it's just Time for me to eat something I don't know but this smells so tropical everything my hair smells almost like a pineapple or it's more like a smoothie well it is called curl enhancing smoothie but it actually smells like a smoothie <laughs> so I am just going to wash and go for real. That's my mother's favorite word. For real, for real. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna let it air dry and let it go let it go just let it go because when i sleep on it it's gonna go whoop. and i haven't been you know using my little scrunchies to like put it in areas or whatever so i'm gonna try it without the gel this time i think i tried it one time before and i didn't film it but i'm gonna try it without the gel just to see how it is when I take when I sleep and that's it for my first time using these two products the shimmering lights I like it I like the smell I like the way it feels on my hair I'm gonna use the you guessed it oh it had mongongo oil Okay, ladies, that's it for another video on Not Too Late Natural Hair. Thank you again for watching, and remember, it's not too late to stop someone, recognize your beauty, say, your hair looks wonderful, and ask them that question. What do you use? And you want to know the answer to my question, what is the number one response that I get when I ask my natural beauties out there? They say, can too. There's a lot of Cantu users out there. I don't know if you remember when I first turned natural, that was one of the products that I had up there was Cantu. Cantu is reasonably priced. It's like $3 and something cents for the shampoo and the conditioner. It makes your hair feel good. It's nice, it's economical, big tube. However, it has coconut in it and I don't know if coconut agreed with my hair. I was testing out so many products. I have to give it another try. But let me know if you're a Cantu user. I still have some in there. Um, but as far as the cost, check. As far as the smell, how it feels, check. Um, I didn't stay long with the product. Um, so anytime you're trying out something and you like it, stay with it for a while to make sure that your hair get used to it. And that's why I'm like sticking to a lot of the same products this time around when I'm blonde. Um, I vary by, very off by one or two, but mainly it's the same. It is the, it's a 10 leave-in, Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner. I may use the Paul Mitchell Sculpting Foam or the 
Oedad, or some people, I say it's Oedad, some people say it's Qedad, or however you pronounce it. Um, moisturizing conditioner, and the, and the Qedad, Qedad, Oedad, Oedad, however you want to pronounce it. Um, Mongongo oil. Um, so I don't vary that far off. As you can tell, the, I eliminated two, replaced it with one. So the main ones are still there. Don't forget, you're lovely. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace. Bye.